Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to uh, Spring in Easton and uh, Topic Time with Harrison Young. Yeah, it's a little uh, cool outside, but it's, uh, it's hot in here. We, we love it. We love uh, what we're doing now. Uh, the show in 2022 has gone to levels beyond, uh, beyond the degrees it's ever gone before, and I have an awesome guest here tonight to open up Spring in Easton. And, and I just, before I even start with the underwriters, I want to give a quick shout out to our, uh, our awesome production coordinator, Kim Pincus. And, uh, Appreciate her asking me to hang out later and do another show for her, you know, knowing that uh, I have the competence to do it. I, and uh, she's doing very well. And uh, thank you, Kim. And we'll, don't worry, I, I got your back. I won't let you down. So now on that note, I'm going to concentrate on my own show and start with the underwriters and get to the guests. So first, we have the underwriters. Great underwriters. Lynch's Towing Auto Cycle and Truck Center in Brockton. One number for towing, one number for projects. Uh, we got Auto Town Auto Glass and Auto Body in Abington. We got Big Lee's Automotive. Moving to 295 Winter Street in Hanover, we got Shaggy Chic Dog Grooming in Attleboro. We've got Caribbean Breeze Tanning Salon in Norton. We've got Eli's Auto Repair in Taunton. We've got Grant's Rental in Bridgewater. We've got Easton Fitness right in the village shops in Northeastern. We've got the Gunrunner LLC in Middleboro, dedicated to your Second Amendment rights with customers or friends. We've got RW Carpet and Flooring in Norton, covering floors for 50 years. We've got Dog, Doggy Boutique, all beat professional grooming for dogs and cats, run by my great next door neighbor, Debbie Siddell in Brockton. And we got Joe's Diner in Taunton, and I want to thank you guys uh, very much. And on that note, I will now introduce, well, she goes by Panto on Facebook, but she, her name is Aurora. Well, which is it? It's Aurora. Pantophobe is just an online screen okay. that I've used for years. And you're an actress, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, what do, you, what, do you have a last name? Grable. Yeah. Grable, okay. Well, almost like Betty Grable? Exactly. Spelled Beautiful. differently, but yeah. <laughs> Why don't you, all right, right off the bat, I have a question. What's wrong with Aurora Grable? That's a sweet name. Well, for Facebook. I mean, just for you, well, you tell me. Go ahead. No, it's just for Facebook. Like back in, when I was in college and it was popular, I just didn't really want to be on there and found. Okay. Whether it was people inviting me to Farmville or just like I didn't want to watch all my friends, you know, from high school be better than me. So I was like, I'll just stay off of it for a while. So. Okay, so you basically, you sort of like humbled yourself out. I guess. I guess. All right. Well, you had your reasons. It's, it's interesting. Oh, you, yeah. You're very creative with names. I can see that, and obviously your parents mm -hmm. are too. Mm -hmm. I, would you happen to be, be, be related to the to the uh, uh, iconic Betty Grable, the real one? No. no. <laughs> you're sure about that, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. All right. Other well, Bettys, but not Grables. <laughs> uh, okay. I understand. All right. Uh, I, I might I might want to use I might stick in a, the middle name Betty just to you know give it the effect if I would, but that's you 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 know mm -hmm. that's me you do it the way you want to do it, mm -hmm. and, and you obviously have it working for you. Mm -hmm. So you're an actress, mm -hmm. and uh, you, you've, you've played in some films, and you've done plays too. I've just mm -hmm. seen that on Facebook. And we're going to talk about all the things you've done, as much, or as much as we can cover. But what I like to do with all my guests is, you know, at the beginning is just go back to what they were like as kids, t find out where they grew up, how they got to mm -hmm. where they're at, and then we take it from there. So tell me about you know, what you were like as a child. You don't look too old. Where, you, where did you grow up, and what were you like as a kid? And if I have any questions pertaining to that, I'll roll them in. So go ahead. Mm -hmm. I grew up in Wayland, Massachusetts. Great town. Uh, yeah, very small and quiet. Oh, I know. The most <laughs> right west of Boston, right next to Framingham. There's no reason to go there, but unless you live there. Well, no, but, uh, I, I, I wouldn't mind living in Wayland. It's a nice, yeah. quiet town. I love quiet yeah. towns. But um, go on. Okay. And I haven't changed much. I've always been this shy, awkward, terrified person, which is pantophobes, pantophobia, just fear of everything. Oh, no so kidding. It's, it, so it, it, yeah. All right. Well, let's, break, let's back up for a second. <laughs> that's that's what that's what the, the the origin of the name panto comes from. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, wow. See, now I'm glad I asked that question. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I often get interesting answers from asking questions I don't even intend to. Mm -hmm. So and you obviously proved that right now. So that's, that's amazing. Um, do you, is this a fear that, 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 but this is not a fear that hinders you, but, it, but you do have it. Yeah, it's taking me a long time to get, to get through it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. They're like, you know, even after college, I'd be sitting in the parking lot too afraid to go into like, the, you know, supermarket because I'd be so anxious. But yeah, but I'm like, I have to do this. So you, just well, you know something it. I totally get it because I have mm -hmm. I'm, I'm fear. I fear. I'm fearful of everything. I'm very a lot of things, too. I have OCD and I have autism. Mm -hmm. So the fact that I'm doing a show like this is pretty impressive. Yeah. OK, yeah. so so you're not you're not alone there. <laughs> But that's very impressive that you're able to do that. And the fact that you converted that into a name for yourself that sounds pretty, you know, catching is mm -hmm. you, you definitely turned an, a, a negative into a positive, did a 4180 with it. And that's very mm -hmm. impressive with it. With, and how long ago, when did, you, when did you devise that name for yourself? How many years ago? Uh, actually, my, my sister pulled it from uh, the Charlie Brown Christmas special. Okay. When she's listing all the phobias he might have. And she says, hey, maybe you have pantophobia. And he, that's it. So my sister was like, hey, why don't you use that? Cool. <laughs> so, like, well, how, right. so how long ago was this about? Oh, back in what, AOL days. AOL? Yeah, like I am, it's messenger, like early. AOL like, sounds like, <laughs> like maybe 15, 20 years ago. So, yeah. You don't even look that, well, you look like you couldn't be, like you're not much older than that. <laughs> okay. I'm older. <laughs> yeah, okay. 
All right, well, so what did you do as a kid then that, that showed you, you know, that got you into acting? Tell me, tell me about that. Did you do anything like that was interesting as a child? Well, I mean, I kept trying, like during school, you know, I did like the fifth grade play and all the plays in middle school, like, you know, background stuff. Okay. So I kept wanting to be part of it, even though I know, like, I was terrified of it and I wasn't that talented. Um, so I just kept doing, even though I was like horrified by it, I still wanted to do it somehow. So, so even though you were, so okay, so even, <laughs> so your fear actually compelled you to do it more. Yeah. Okay. Like I knew if I wanted to do something, I had to keep doing it. That's right. Although in high school, like once I got to that level of theater, I was like, I can't handle these people. So I became a tech crew, strictly tech crew behind the scenes. One okay. of those people, so. <laughs> well, well, all right. Um, did you, have, well, before high school though, mm -hmm. did you land any roles as a, as a kid in plays that you, you know, that you would, that you tried out for and did well? I mean, they cast everyone who tried out in middle school. They oh. were kind like that. So, you know, chorus, chorus oh. members. Just okay. What I'm, trying to, what I'm trying to get at is, did you, have a, did you have any bad experiences during middle school which decided, which created, or was, like that weren't just in your head that made you decide to, to, to cease it after no. high school? No. It was just basically in your mind that you were off, you were freaking out inside about everything. About yeah, the level of the, you know, expertise got a lot higher in high school. And there was, you know, the teacher was very severe and strict and the, everyone was really into it. And it's just like, I want to be involved in theater, but like I can be behind the scenes. And okay, so you'd rather be behind the scenes. But, the, yeah. but, the, but then something happened and, and now, you're, now you're acting again, right? Mm -hmm. All right, what was that? What was the transition there? How did that come to be? Oh, well, I went to college. It was like new people, didn't know anyone, didn't know the teachers. I'm like, okay, okay it's a fresh start. I can, I can feel free to... And where, oh, what no, college did you go to? Roger Williams University. Rhodey. Biggest little state in the union. Cool. And <laughs> yeah. did you major in theater? Minor in it. Yeah. Minor in it. What did you major in? Creative writing for poetry. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, tell me about the writing you do. It sounds to me like, do you like the writing? You look like, I get the sense from talking to you that you're a writer, that you love writing. I used to be more into it. Like, you know, I don't know. I used to be, have the more creative flow for that. But after college, I just kind of focused on more of the acting and well, stuff. Okay, well, have you ever, I'm just, I mean, I want to, I'm just trying to figure out, did you ever, did you ever write anything? Poetry, scripts, uh, essays, anything that, you know, that you felt was worth saving at least? Uh, I mean, I have them all, but not, like not, I'm not um, submitting them to anything. No, all right, but you, but you did keep them. You yeah. did say, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. well, you saved them. That's I got a, my portfolio, yeah. You should always, you should, you're right, you should never throw anything okay. out that you write because you, you, as you know, you might, there might be a reason to use it someday. Yeah, and I like what I have. You like what you have, yeah. and at some point maybe when you've, Achieve some more, you know, more success in your work. Somebody might say, hey, let, "Let's look at some of her early stuff," and then they, you'd be amazed at how creative you can be. Mm -hmm. I would recommend anybody try writing at some point. Try creative writing. Take a course somewhere. I've done yeah. several. I even I've written a couple of books myself, oh. self-published, but mm -hmm. nevertheless, pretty successful. Yeah, yeah. And so one was poetry. The very first one I wrote was poetry in 1978 when I was 19. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Yeah, I know a little it's pamphlet. Impressive. But I got a lot of great hits, and you know, I'm not hits. There was no, there was no nothing online in '78. But there were, there were, I would sell them the book, you know, for a quarter apiece, mm -hmm. and, and there were people were buying it and liking it. Mm -hmm. And uh, then the then the big one, the short stories that I wrote in the '90s, that took me the whole decade of the '90s to complete. Mm -hmm. And I never thought I'd have, a, I never thought I'd have enough material to do it. All right, so mm -hmm. getting back to your acting, yeah. when did you, when did you read, when did you, when did you restart acting after college? When you, when you graduated, Roger Williams. Well, I started as acting in college okay. as well. Well, tell me about what you did in college, you know, acting-wise, projects and stuff. Uh, like what plays yeah, specifically? Yeah. Um, there's a lot of, like, one-act comedies. We okay. had a lot of one-act festivals that were pretty popular. I love those, doing the, uh, the funny... Okay, <laughs> can you tell me movies. about, like, can you, can you be specific? Can you mm -hmm. I mean, one-act meaning, like, sketches? Like 10-minute plays. Okay. Like a you know, whole entire play just done in 10 minutes. All right, and, uh, with it, and, what, and what kind of roles did you have? Comedic, I guess? Yeah, like kind of dim-witted sometimes. Okay, I can see that yeah, in a good way, though. Fun, yeah, it's fun to play that kind of person, like slapsticky. Yeah. Kind of just okay. flighty. Yeah, um, are there, are there, all right. That, and, mm -hmm. and how many of those did you, do you think you did in all the time you were at school, all the years? Oh, I don't know. I, I, I did it once since I got there, all four years, so I don't, my memory is awful, but I did a, a good amount. I did, like, you know, straight plays, too. Okay. Um, straight meaning, like, dr Like just dramatic? normal, drama yeah, dramatic. You know, did some chorus in the uh, musicals. Ended with a Shakespeare play. Yeah. Okay, Shakespeare. Okay, mm -hmm. can you recite Shakespeare? You know, <laughs> by heart. I mean, some people no. can. No. Oh yeah, I can't either. <laughs> I can't remember any. Except you know, the, 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 me thinks thou doth protest too much. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all, right, all right, to be and not to be, and all yeah, that. Yeah, exactly the classics. Okay. Um, all right. So what are you currently working on? You can talk about. Uh, well, I'm actually doing a play right now. I've all got right. back into theater. I bounce back into theater every now and then. Okay. It takes so much time and effort to do a play versus like a movie. 
So it's true. It does. Um, mm -hmm. wait, so where so where are you currently working doing this play? Uh, Attleboro Community Theater. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. I thought I saw. Where is that? I go to I go through Attleboro every week. Where is that located? In, is it downtown? It's in the. I don't know what downtown is. It's in the basement of a Masonic lodge. Oh really? Okay. It's the main street, I think. Oh North okay. So it's not something you could see from the road. There's no big sign up right. that says okay. Yeah. It's across the street from the library, I think. Oh, okay. I don't know. All right. How long, <laughs> How did you get How did you get involved with them? Uh, well, uh, was it December? I, there were auditions for another play that I did okay. with them. That's how I, I wanted to do theater again. They weren't far away, too far away. I'm like, I don't think I'll know anyone. And they had small roles. Okay. So I was like, all right, I'll give them a shot. And they. Cool. Okay. So, me, so. this was, uh, and this was how long ago when you started this? This particular theater? Yeah, the one in Attleboro. Oh, just December. Was okay. The first play I did, and then we we, ju and we just ended this month. Oh, you just ended it. So mm -hmm. you so. And the we play started another one. <laughs> well, so we, so did you already get you, you've already done the play for, for you know like the, where did you perform? You performed it at the Playhouse there. Yeah. Okay, and, and you had how many times did you do it? Did you have a lot of people that came to see it? Yeah, we had nine shows, which I think is unusual. Usually, it's at least two weekends. It was three weekends, nine shows, and like yeah, we have big audiences. That's great. Pretty much, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was surprised. Did, they, did you show <laughs> out? Um, maybe like once, but not, hmm. not, we didn't really sell out, but we still had a lot of people. I think the, uh, we had COVID re restrictions, I believe, so the of audiences course, were smaller yeah. anyway. But. Right, right. Okay, um, and uh, can you tell me about the play? Can you tell me what it was? Yeah, it was Picasso at the La Pana Gilles by Steve Martin. Oh, Steve Martin, the, the actor, he yeah, wrote it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So it's like a comedy, but not like hilarious comedy. It's like a deep thinking. It's kind of a, you know, kind of like, a, yeah, I know what you mean, kind of like a Leslie Nielsen uh, you know, he, remember him? He was in the airplane oh, yeah. movies, but he's done. He's, he did a he did a mm -hmm. play about Clarence Darrow, the lawyer, once, mm -hmm. and he you know it was kind of a it wasn't a, it wasn't a comedic, it wasn't serious. It was sort of just like down to, down the mm -hmm. right down the middle, you know, just mm -hmm. matter of fact. Mm -hmm. But but there there were some funny moments, I guess. Mm -hmm. All right, that's yeah, it's cool. a little cerebral. It's like Picasso and Einstein are in their twenties, and they meet at this bar in France. Okay, and then just the meeting of the minds, both artsy and mathy, and cool, and then uh, other weird characters, of course. Uh, uh, all right, so. <laughs> Now, do you do you do any other thing creative in creations? Do you like you know draw, paint, uh, sculpt, any of that stuff? Anything musical? You sing, dance? Yeah, I I, I say play violin for okay. my friends' band when they do it live. Like I'm not really I'm good enough that I can like play the notes on stage and look cool, but okay. I'm not like I'm not a maestro or whatever. The All right, is. well that's I mean have you ever okay have you ever like um, so you play the violin? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, how about singing? Do you do that? No, they've tried having me do backup vocals, but it never worked. You never out, really, so. never took, yeah. huh? Okay. All right. So, mm -hmm. you, so you, you're working on you've, you've worked on this one play. Now you're on another one. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the one you're currently working on. Uh, it's Thirteen Past Midnight. Oh, okay. That sounds like a that sounds a little bit off the wall. It's a whodunit mystery. Okay. Like comedy mystery kind of thing. Okay. I, and I, are you, who do you play in that? I play the wife of a soap opera star. Oh, okay. Jealous wife. <laughs> no, oh, yeah, okay. And this is also a 10 minute thing? No, no, this is a full length. And, a f and how long does a full length play usually go? Uh, it depends. I honestly don't know how this one, we just started, so I don't know how long it actually is yet. Okay. But I think it's got an intermission, so it's got two acts. Okay. Um, well, when do you go to, when do you, how often do you go to rehearse there? Three times a week. Okay. Um, and is it usually at night? Mm -hmm. Okay, and when you when you when you finally do the play, when is it going to be? Is it going to be like a, like on a weekend on weekends that you do it? Yep, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, two on Saturday. Yeah, all, all right. And what about film acting? Yeah. You done, what, what about well, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? What? Yeah, I forgot. No, I I think it's just three shows. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. What? What are, you said you've done film acting too, right? Mm -hmm. well, talk mm -hmm. about some of the films you've done. Maybe we can cover. Let's talk about them. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, I, you introduced Skip, uh, Skip Shea a couple years ago. Okay. Worked with him a bunch of times. Yeah, I know Skip. He was a guest on the show mm -hmm. a few years ago in Raynham. So. Okay. Um, what, all right, what was that film you were in with him? Ah, uh, see, I've been working with him since 2011, I think. Oh, okay. So, You've done a lot of stuff with him. Yeah. Then. So okay. he's like, once I like someone latches on to me and like we get along. Like, oh, okay. I'll, then you just oh, I see you work with him regularly. So, yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. Which is nice. Right. And now, have you ever have you ever tried writing a script yourself no. or a play? No. Would you ever? <laughs> no, no, I don't. I, I'm not good with like ends, middles, beginnings. Like I'm not good at putting everything together. Okay, all right. Um, okay, so tell me. All right, tell me about the. No, this is this is a this is a who done it? Mm -hmm. um, and you play the wife of a, so, a soap opera mm -hmm. star. Okay, um, and and it is. I assume is there's some violence in there too, right? Yeah. Okay, and, <laughs> and I, I know I went to a play a, a few years ago in Waltham, and I had a girl here that was an actress too, and they were great. They were really, they really brought it to life. 
I mean, there was a scene where she got smacked and she really went, she went down. And that, how do you, now, in order to do that, do you have to make, you make it look authentic? How, how, do you have to really work on that? Do you have stunt people to help you with that? I mean, it depends on the show, I guess. Well, I mean, have you ever worked with somebody like that that helps you with, you know, with, with, with violent scenes where they, you know, make them, look, make them look authentic, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it doesn't really always work out. Like, one time I had to slap someone just, you know, I was offended, so I slapped him, and I was trying to do it, and the director's like, no, no, you gotta do it like this. And she was, she's smaller than I am, and she went and slapped me and gave me a black lip, and I'm like, that's not how. Were <laughs> you afraid to hurt her? Was that it? No, she hurt me. She hurt you? <laughs> she was like, this is how you do it, and she actually, like, bruised me, so wow. I'm like, we're not doing that. <laughs> so she, sounds to me like she was trying to inspire you by, you know, by hurting you. So it doesn't always work out, but. Yeah. Okay, well, 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 yeah, but did it turn out that, did, did it help you with the, with the work, with the play? Did you do it better because of it? I guess so. Okay. It was such a minor part, but. Well, no, not a, it's not, I, mean, unless, I mean, unless you're the Three Stooges, I don't think it's minor. It's, yeah, mm -hmm. but okay. All right, so <laughs> interesting. All right. Um, now, are these plays, mu is, there, is there music involved in the plays, too? Um, you know? Well, the last one, there was, like, musical cues. Okay. Like, when something happened, they'd play a little bit of music or, the, you know, the opening. Yeah, it sounds to me like a whodunity. You'd have dun-dun-dun-dun. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah but dun, I, like, dun, 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 dun. So we, just, we don't even have a set yet. We were just at the very beginning, so okay. who knows? All right, cool. <laughs> All right, um, so who else have you worked with in film? Anyone, I, I mean, I know Skip Shea, anyone else? I mean, I assume there are other people you've worked with. He, he's primarily the one. You've worked with him probably more than anybody, yeah. right? Yeah, I guess Adam Griswold. Okay. I believe you've also had the show. Yep. Worked with him many, many times as well. Okay. Which is great. It, okay, yeah, I'm sure he is. Um, now, have, have you ever been in a major film? You ever gone, like, are you a member of Boston Casting? No, no. Or any of the other casting companies, CP, they're a new one, but they're pretty big now? Mm -mm. Okay, so everything is, all the films you've done have been indie films and plays and small plays and stuff. Like I tried to get into, um, what was it, that Stephen King show that was filming out west? You tried to get into what? Oh, was it? Uh, TV show out west? The Stephen King one that was here, something about a castle. Are you talking castle about? Castle Rock, Castle Rock. What? I tried getting oh, into Oh, really? I tried getting into that. It couldn't get into it for the life of me, so. You talk, is it now, <laughs> did you go out to Hollywood for that? No, that, that was just out in Western Mass. Oh, Western Mass, Like everyone okay. else I knew got into it and I just, they would, would not take me. So I'm like, I'll just stick to indie stuff. That's okay, <laughs> well have you, have you traveled like outside New England to, to do any work for, for acting or you know, have you tried to go in Hollywood, New York or anywhere else? No, no. Uh, do you have any possible aspirations to do that eventually at some point? No. So basically you're just gonna keep it in the, in the, in the neighborhood? Yeah, this is just for fun. Like I don't care about money or fame or anything. Oh, I just- Okay, all good, right, well that's cool. I have a good time cool. doing it. So. All right, all right. Um, so do you, have, do you have acting friends that you work with? Do you have people that you work with? That, you know what I'm saying? Like people that you've worked with in productions that you, that you uh, that have worked with you in other productions that you will probably work with in, in, you know, in the future and have worked with in the past, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about regular people that you work with and have worked with mm -hmm. in different things. Like, like are, you, are you part of this theater group in, in Attleboro? I'd say part of it. <laughs> well, I mean, are there, are there, I mean, are there a bunch of are there, the, are there a bunch of the same people for every show, or are there new people coming in all the time? Uh, they seem to be. They have some regulars okay. for the theater group. And you're one of them. I, well, I've, I guess my second one, so I guess I'm kind of in there now. But. All right. So the more, right, once you've done more than one, you become a regular, mm -hmm. and you stay as long as you want. But yeah, but usually by two of them, I'm like burnt out, and I'm like I'm done. Okay. <laughs> so, all right. Well. And then I hibernate for like a couple of years, and then. Oh, oh, really? You take a couple of years off? Just from theater. Yeah. Well, do you have, all right. Do you have any plans to do anything, you know, totally different than what you've mm -hmm. ever done before? I know I sort of get the sense that something in your mind, is, something inside you was crying out to do something totally, mm -hmm. so, totally outrageous like you've never done before. I don't know why, but just something about, is that, I'm just, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm, a, I'm making an assumption. I may be wrong. Yeah, uh, no, I'm, I'm happy. All right, I'm that's low good. Key just staying oh. where I am. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Uh, do you have kids yeah. of your own? No. All right, that's good. That'll keep you. That'll Just my cat. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I love cats. Yeah. Cats are great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, have you ever done a music video? Um, like we, I think I filmed one with my friends once, but I don't think it, like they ever made it. Were you in it, or were you just behind the yeah, scenes? Yeah, I was in it, but okay. I don't think it ever. I think it was just, it was just a fan thing. Okay. I made like fan ones, but not like real ones. Do you, Do you have any friends that are musicians that you might work, you know, work with in a music video at some point? You think? Uh, probably not. Like I'm not really in a band. No, I'm not saying so, you're. I don't mean in a band. Yeah. I'm talking about friends that, that, are, like, that are musicians that mm -hmm. might that might want to create a video with you in it. Mm -hmm. you, uh, Doesn't seem like it, no. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So so right now, at this point, you're doing you're doing one show at a time in mm -hmm. Attleboro at the theater. Mm -hmm. um, you're not writing anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, have you ever done any modeling? You look pretty. You're cute. You're a pretty attractive woman. Just with people I've done film with before. Like if they wanted to do a photo shoot, you know, we've done stuff like that. Oh, you have. Okay. Yeah, friends well, who wanted like an album cover or something, okay. 
Well, so you have done that. Yeah. Okay. Not like extensively. Or no. All right. Well, that that's important. That's something, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's nice to see a mug on the on the cover of an album, especially if you know with people that you work with. I mean, it's it's a it's a good selling point. Yeah. Yeah. You might want to you might want to enroll. I mean, I try to give advice to my guests mm -hmm. that might help them out. You might want to look into enrolling, you know, in a modeling agency just to see if. Uh, just to see if there's stuff available. You know, it might just, it'll open up, it might open up some more doors for you. Now, you say you're happy, which is great, but uh, and I don't know how you'd feel if somebody, if you got a call from, say, from New England Models Group, and they say, hey, we got a, we got a perfect role for you in a film. Do you want it? What would you say? <laughs> you had the wrong number? <laughs> that means no. I, think, I just wouldn't, I don't know. Okay. I like, I hate myself, so you, that's hard you hate for me. You to, like, I hate myself, so it's hard for me to want to put myself out there. You hate yourself? Yeah. Really? So I'm like, I'm not, you know. Why do you hate yourself? Oh, so many reasons. Who has the time? <laughs> wow. Okay. No. But that, like, that's also hindering between being afraid. I'm also like so self-conscious and like, so I'm like, I'm just happy being. Okay. So I, it sounds to me like you maybe feel like you're overly cautious about things. I mean, okay. Do, would you like to change that? I'm just wondering. Would you, I mean, to say to say that you hate yourself <laughs> is, I mean, I mean, it's in a way it's humorous, but in a way it's serious too, because you're the only. I mean, when, at the end of the day, you, you're the, you're the only one you have. Right, right. I mean, your cat, which is great too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She tolerates me, you know. No, I know. <laughs> hmm, that's an, I've never heard anyone say that before. Yeah. Okay. I'll well, admit it. Do you want? I mean, I don't know. I, I, I'd like. To, I, I, I hope that at some point you could, ch you could change that and say I don't hate myself. I love mm -hmm. myself, or at least I like myself. It's a process. It's a process. You know, we're but, working on it. You're working on. It. Okay, that's good. That's the, that's that's what I want. I, I want. I want you to at least take come <laughs> away from my show with some with something positive. Mm -hmm. At least that would be great. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, I say that like it's nothing. I'm like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if, now, when you were, just curious, based on what you're telling me, I'm wondering, when you were growing up, was it, were there any issues that, that you had to deal with that were, you know, with, with social development that were a problem? Like getting, you know, I don't know, I get picked on a lot in mm -hmm. school. I don't know about you, I'm just wondering, because that can be, sometimes when people treat you like crap, you feel like, mm -hmm. you do feel like it, and I know, and I know, because I've been there. Mm -hmm. um, and you certainly deserve better than that. And I'm just wondering if that's, you know, if that applies. I don't want to get too personal. No, no. But I, I, I've always had something socially. Yeah. Not, I, I'm not as advanced as I should be. Like, when people talk to me, I would just like, stare at them because I couldn't, I didn't know how to respond. So those people are like, all right, and they'd walk away. I'm like, I don't know. Okay. All <laughs> or right. they think, you know, look at me weird. I'm like, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, well, all right. Do you feel like, that, do, you, would you, do you wish you could be more, in, in, you know, interactive with people? Or are you just confident, you just, you're just comfortable being the way you are. I know, I know what it is. You know what it is? It's like you're in your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, sometimes you have to leave your comfort zone in order to, in order to advance your life. But it's so, it's, it's a high, it's high because it's, 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 a, it's a big step to leave your comfort zone. Yeah. Right? I mean, you know how that is. Mm -hmm. Right. In a way, you know, what I, the way I think of my show is, it's almost like when I'm talking to you now, I'm, it's, it's like I'm trying to help you cope with, like I'm, like I'm trying to give you, I'm trying to almost like, you know, psychoanalyze you to help you feel better about yourself. Mm -hmm. I didn't think I'd have to do that. I don't, I don't have to do it, but I'd like to, I want you to be happy. I want you to, you know, I want you to say, I love myself. I think that it sounds, it sounds like I said, it sounds to me like there's something inside you that's pushing to get out and want, you know, and wants to feel the love and warmth of, of, you, of you and then, you know, and everybody around you. I don't know, I don't know how, you know, every, I'm, you seem like a very warm person to me. I, it seems, I would get the people that you work with think the world of you. And obviously you've been working with Skip Shea and, and you had them for so mm -hmm. long, they must like you. Have, they must like having you around. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. Okay. But I don't know. It's easy to say that, though. I guess mm -hmm. you know. It's easy to take the. You know, want to take the easy way out. It's like, uh, you know, maybe it's maybe you feel fear of you know being hurt if you, if you get too close to someone. You know, mm -hmm. I've been told I've ha I've had that too. You know, like, and it's true because I've been hurt many times. I know what that's like. Um, but uh, you know, um, okay. Do you ever have you ever gone to a psychic or anything? Yeah. Okay, tell me about how that worked out. Ah, uh, not very well. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm always, I'm like, whenever I go to one, yeah. I'm usually going there for like a certain, well, mediums more than psychics. Right. I'm always like looking to contact a certain person and like they don't want to talk to me and then I get bummed out, so. Okay, they, they don't want to talk to you? So you Apparently, so. I'm not getting the messages I'm looking for and then. I should hook you up with my sister-in-law. She's, yeah. she's, she's an online psychic she, and she lives right here in town. Oh, yeah. She had a show here for a few years. I was on it and she was on mine a few times. Okay, so you obviously, anybody that seeks out psychic help, is, <laughs> seeks out a psychic, must have something that, you know, they want to, they're mm -hmm. trying to resolve. Mm -hmm. um, okay, how about uh, therapy? Ever done that? Oh, gosh, yes. Yeah, okay, yeah, me too. <laughs> Lifetime of it. But I've almost been committed a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. I know we, a bunch of people who have, so. What's that? <laughs> I know a lot of people who have. Been committed? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, 
Well, I mean, I mean, well, have you felt it works that out in the end, you know. What's that? It works out in the end for them. Have you, have you well, have you felt that the, okay, well, <laughs> well, guess what? We're down to the final five minutes of the show. <laughs> we'll end on that. It's been an unusual show. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, that's fine. I, but I'm just wondering, yeah. do you feel you've gotten any, anything out of that? Any good, any benefits out of the therapy that you've? Yeah, yes and no. Like, I come into it when I need it, and then I can kind of wander off. And well, okay, okay. Well, that's fair enough. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, Joe just indicated we're down in the final five minutes of the show. I can't believe it went by so fast. I know. <laughs> but we've, I, I hope we covered as much as we could about what you mm -hmm. do. And, we're, and so what I'd like you to do, like I said at the beginning, is look mm -hmm. at the camera, mm -hmm. give shouts out to people, you know, Adam, uh, Skip, and mm -hmm. a few, anyone else, and then we'll wrap the show up the way we began with my music. Okay. okay. Well, shout out to anyone who's ever given me a chance. I really appreciate it. <laughs> she deserves it. And more people should give her a chance. She's awesome. I'll show up. <laughs> she'll, she'll show up and she'll give you give 110%. <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. Yeah. Well, I hope you had fun. Yeah. Okay. Sorry it went No, no, dark. no, no. Don't worry about that. Listen, you made it interesting. That's, that's what I, I mean, that's what makes, that's what gets good ratings is making it interesting. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be, it's not all, you know, joy, jump for joy every second, you know, sometimes. And I, and what I'm hoping is that, you, you know, people watch the show, they'll want to, you know, you'll, you'll get, you'll learn to appreciate yourself more than if that's really the case. I have a hard time seeing that you really hate yourself. I can see, I, I can see being frustrated with yourself. That, that's, that, that's, that goes for all of us, but I can't, mm -hmm. I think you, I think you probably have, uh, you have a lot of love to give. And I'm telling you, and I'm no psychic and I'm no shrink, <laughs> but I get a sense that so at some point you're going to be a lot happier with your life than you may be now. And you just got to keep plugging it, you know? All right, well, the other thing is, is if you had a good time with me, mm -hmm. talk, tell, tell your friends about mm -hmm. my show, see if we can get them on as guests. You have my digits. Mm -hmm. Have anyone text me, I'm an open book, and we'll get them on here, or any of my other great locations for Topic Time. All right, we, well, Aurora, you did a wonderful job with me, Aurora Grable. So I just remembered my friend and I did a music video, and he was, I was going to put you in contact with him. I did a music video with him. Sorry. <laughs> All right, well, I'm glad you brought well, okay. I'm so bad at remembering things. Uh, I'm glad you mentioned I'm, I'm glad you. I'm glad you brought it up. All right, well, before, before we wrap the show up completely, is there anything on the horizon that you have going on that you might have overlooked that you want to mention real quick coming up in the next few weeks and months? Um, aside from the play, which is going to be the first three weekends in May, uh, the band I'm playing with, Ghost Painted Sky, will be playing a couple shows uh, next month in the Boston area. Did you say the band? Yeah. Oh, so you, what are you doing with the band? The violin. Oh, that's yeah. right. Okay, yeah. so she's so a fiddler too, folks. Yeah. Oh, cool. So if you like goth, post-punk, dark wave, right. Ghost Painted Sky. <laughs> there you go. All right. Well, night. Great job, Aurora Grable. Pantophobia. Phobia. Whatever. <laughs> We're gonna wrap the show up. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. More great episodes to follow, folks. Take care. See you next time. Have a good one. Bye bye.